Empire. Bam. What a time to be alive. It's JC400. And we back. Today, uh, we're going to talk about we are not created equal in any way, shape, or form. This is going to rub people the wrong way. But what part of my content hasn't rubbed someone the wrong way? We're not created equal. Men, women, men amongst each other, women amongst each other, animals, humans. See, it it really leaves me shook how society tries to flip everything. It really leaves me shook, man. But that's part of taking the red pill. You see that in every form of life, it's a hierarchy, right? Even in the Bible, if you still believe in religion, right? Which isn't necessarily connected to the Bible anyway. But if you believe in religion, right? It's a hierarchy. It's the most high. Then come the angels. It's light workers. And so on and so forth. So why in society do we have to believe that we're all equal? In this world, we go back in history. There's kings. There's emperors. Then there's peasants and slaves. It's a hierarchy. If everyone was equal, then there wouldn't be labels. See, if everyone was equal, there wouldn't be a president. If we were truly run by the people, it wouldn't be a president and then legislative branches to back up the president, right? This is all red pill shit. Now let's get back into it. And I'm a connected to female nature because I know that's what some of y'all want to hear. When it comes to female nature, man, it's the dating game. Men and women aren't equal. I'm going to tell you this. Every woman you talk to when it comes to what she wants and her significant other, she wants a man that can, right? I'm going to say can, that is able to provide for a family, that is able to be a breadwinner. Whenever she is in pregnancy, just got out of pregnancy, things of that nature. She needs a man that can provide structure to a household that can be a leader for their children. See, everything I just mentioned, right, is dominant on the male side. Everything I just mentioned is what a man has to provide to a dynamic in order for it to thrive, right, in her eyes. You go to the men. What do you need in the dynamic of a relationship? Man, she just got to look good, love me, care for me, treat my children good. That's it. See, that's the... And I'm just speaking in generals right now. I'm not speaking about everybody. But in general, that's what the two genders want out of a relationship. A dynamic. We're not equal because just look at the give and take in that. We already off rip have to give more than they have to give. Let's go into how we're brought up. As a man, your looks will not get you anywhere. As a woman, your looks can get you to the promised land. Believe that. Believe that. In this society, we have prostitutes, escorts, we have beauty pageants for women. See, there's no male beauty pageant. Closest thing to it would be bodybuilding. I'm glad I'm glad I brought that up. Let's just compare the two, fam. Beauty pageant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ask them these questions, but at the end of the day, if you weren't a nine or ten, you wouldn't be on that stage. See, when it comes to bodybuilding, you have to earn your spot there. You're born with looks. 
and then you can do skincare, all that other thing, right? But you not necessarily born ripped, shredded. You have to go in that motherfucking gym and you gotta damn near die in there. After a six month to for some five to 10 year bid, then you can be able to enter a bodybuilding competition and hopefully you win. See, that's the difference right there, the work that's put into life, right? Women get a lot of things handed to them. Women are the weaker gender, we know this. This is not up for debate. But men, because we're considered the stronger gender, because we are the stronger gender, we have to work for everything in this life. My nigga, I don't care how you look. That's not gonna get you that multi-million dollar business deal. Your intellect is. Your diplomacy is. Your experience in that field is. We are not created equal. And that's just in the male and female dynamic. Let's go into just the males, right? Just because you're a man does not make you high value. If we being honest, if you beta, you not above women. They run you. They eat off you. If you beta, you below women. That's what it is. Alphas and betas. That's a hierarchy in men right there. If you are alpha, you alpha. You top notch, you a five percenter, one percenter in my eyes. If you beta, you a 90 to 95 percenter, 90 to 99 percenter. Go do what you gotta do. But at the end of the day, it's a separation. We're built different. The way you operate in the world as a beta is nowhere near the same way an alpha operates in the world. See, and I'm gonna end it with this, fam. Empire. The last one for men. There's kings, then there's knights, right? Then there's pawns, then there's peasants. Completely different classes, all of them. Completely different purposes served, all of them. But at the end of the day, They know who they are. And whatever they choose to do with that is on them. Hey, man. Peace, love, prosperity. Nine, nine, nine. Road to a milli, road to a billy. Vibe real quick. It's JC400. And we out.